What is up YouTube and welcome to yet another Flash video for your lovely selves. So if you're new to the channel, please do click that like, please do click that subscribe of course there as well. And also if you're already subscribed, please do click that bell button for your notifications. So the Flash, well, this is hurting me. I know we're going to have a longer break at the end of May until obviously October when season four will come in, but this long, long delay is absolutely gutting. And well, the CW have obviously seemed to understand this and they are releasing more and more information about the rest of the episodes for season three. So Supergirl, we've had a trailer for the upcoming episodes. We've had some very, very cool information that we're going to get a Jimmy Olsen sort of origin story. And also, we are getting an Arrow trailer soon as well. But this is a Flash video, and the CW have given us some brand new images for the upcoming episode, Flash Season 3, Episode 19, The Once and Future Flash. So we get some very, very nice pictures of behind the scenes, we can see Tom Cavanaugh wearing a very, very weird beanie hat. I, I think that is a very, very poor sartorial choice, Tom. If you're watching, what is that beanie about? I know it's cold in Vancouver, but dude, seriously, you could have like, you know, put your hood up or something. I don't know. But I talk about comics on the internet, so I can't really be talking about someone's sartorial choices there. But what is really cool in this, we get some very cool up close and personal images of Mirror Master and the top. And I must say, the Mirror Master is looking incredibly dapper. However, I'm not too sure about the top's outfit. I think that looks a bit kind of Owlman, Birdman. It does not look good. And I'm pretty sure in seven years' time, no one will be dressing like that. I don't know what kind of future they're looking at if people are going to be wearing that awful outfit. Now, I do wish they were in, or do wish they would be wearing more of a comic book based outfit. It would have been nice that they would actually kind of try and hide their disguises, but we already know who they are, of course. And I find it just strange that they decide to rock out wearing pretty cash clothing, which is really strange. However, it's cool to get these two back. I am really, really excited that we are getting this pair back on our screens because I think their dynamic between both of them was actually really, really good. Now, what is cool about this episode is that we got to see just when it was going to be set. Now, I did think that this would be set in April. So this is set in 2024, which is when The Flash obviously goes missing according to that very mysterious newspaper which was featured prominently in the first season and also in this season when the byline was changed from Iris West Allen to someone else. So it's actually going to be set in February which is obviously you know a couple of months before April and a couple of months before The Flash actually goes missing. So there goes my theory of this being the reason that he disappears, or us learning why the Flash disappears in this. So there is that. So I'm going about that, but it's nice to know when we're going to be seeing, when this future is set. Now, what's cool about this is we've got Cisco here involved in these pictures as well. And what I'm expecting is our present Barry to be featured, obviously, in this episode and then have to go and kind of get the band back together in the future to go around and go on quests and talk to each of them and learn just what actually happened, what's happened to them in the intervening years between the death of Iris and possibly how Savitar was actually destroyed. So I think that it's going to be a huge, huge tearjerker of an episode because in the trailer, we've actually seen Wally in a wheelchair. I think Cisco will be his Sherpa through this future 2024. Now, what is also interesting in this raft of pictures 
is that we got to see Joe at a gravestone, which is interesting as well, because, well, we know Iris is actually dead in this timeline. We know she has bitten the dust, sadly, or happily for a few of you who are really, really not Iris West fans. Yes, there are surprisingly quite a lot of people who hate Iris West. So it seems like in this episode, we are actually going to get to see the aftermath. We're going to see Joe and we're going to see Iris West's or Iris West, um, whatever. We're going to see her gravestone and we're going to see Joe being obviously very, very upset. But I think the crux of this episode is going to be Barry going around all of these time period or this time period and talking to everyone and just learning exactly what happened and possibly, possibly getting a future gun, Speed Force gun, to take those out. So later today, I've got a Speed Force gun video for you as well. So I hope you enjoy that. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.